Let us continue with a series of lessons. We are Revelation chapter 5. <clears throat> a revelation of, of the Lord Jesus Christ according to John. And I saw on the right of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside on the back, sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a strong an angel proclaim with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or look at it. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll and to look at it. But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, revealed and opened the scroll and to loose its seven seals. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though it had been slain, having seven horns, seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent down all the earth. He came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. <clears throat> now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures, the twenty-four elders, fell down before the Lamb. Each having a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the praise of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, You're worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood, out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Then I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures and the elders. The number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, Thousands of thousands sing with a loud voice. Worthy is a lamb who was slain who received power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth, and as such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, I heard saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne to the Lamb forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen, the twenty-four cylinders fell down and worshipped him who lives forever and ever. Amen. Now, we entered on what must happen after the rapture of the church. And the description of this chapter is what needs to happen in heaven. When the throne of the Almighty God is revealed, the face of Him who... which... is shining so far nobody has seen the face of God has seen the face of God has seen and, and lived only after the second judgment when the Lord Jesus goes to the Father and everything will be submitted to God and everything in the new heavens the new earth and the new eternal life whoever is going to reign only those will see that will reign the age of ages will see who are they to those to whom the uh, slaughtered lamb said 
who said, Come here, you blessed my father. Come and hear it. The uh, kingdom of my father. The one, those are going to see the face of God. And then we'll see that to the ages of ages. And then we'll see it as they will reign in the new uh, age and heavens. Now, the word of God is revealing to us there are four beasts and animals who are the elders, all the emissaries of the church in heaven that are already being raptured. Now, we're making it to the fifth chapter. The inspired word of God. I saw him who sat on the right side of God, a written book, and the front back with many seals. It was a scroll back then. And he had seven seals. Then his right hand, the Almighty God, was holding in his hand. And I saw an angel. The mighty one who was preaching, proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seals. The scroll and to loose its seals in this book, which is sealed with seven seals. It is written. The written the uh, judgments of God of the Lamb and then the next seven years sinfulness comes the fullness because the Lord Jesus arose all the people who were dead and now with the rapture of the church all the um, the righteous people have departed from the earth just in the time of Noah. And the case of Lot, the, uh, when Lot came out and departed from Sodom and Gomorrah, all the uh, righteous and the billions of people, or millions, were raptured, especially in this case here with the billions that were left behind. <clears throat> As the uh, the one that was mortal was dressed in mortality, and we'll see who's going to see who's worthy to loosen of the uh, the seals of the judgments of God. There was no one found worthy to open and read the scroll. Look at it in heaven or on earth. Neither to open nor can look at it. By God now is describing to us, revealing to us. And the letter of Apostle Paul for into Philippians, whom God exalted him as he became submitted to the word of God. God Exalted him. Because he was absolutely revealed. And he granted those. The name that is above our names. So that every knee shall bow. In the heavens. And on earth. And under the earth. So that everybody will confess the name of the Lord Jesus. It's going to take place the last judgments by now. Now we're going to see the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that was given. The man Christ Jesus, the only intercessor between man and God. The no one was able to to loosen up those seals 
neither in heaven or from the earth or under the earth neither can <coughs> imagine how horrible would be this book that no one is able to open and neither they can look at it but we know very well there's going to be tremendous sorrow and what's going to take place the 70 year reign of the antichrist is going to be horrible there are, as they look at the mountains they're going to say fall upon us so we may escape the wrath of God but John says I was weeping I wept much because no one was found worthy to open to read the scroll to look at it neither in heaven on earth and under the earth one of the elders said to me the great mystery of this great question who is worthy who has this authority this power this ability to loosen the seals to open the book to read the book and no one was able to see it and he explains don't weep Because there were because there was someone found who was worthy to open the scroll and to loosen its seven seals, the one who prevailed above all the powers, heavenly or earthly under the world. This is no one else the line of the tribe of Judah the root of David and he's able to open the scroll to lose seven seals there's no one else than the Lord Jesus Christ and he called slaughtered a lamb who is going to be revealed above all the powers of the second coming almighty judge this is very important dear brethren to know that God the Father that he gave authority unto that person to judge the living and the dead neither the almighty God has received this authority to judge the living and the dead only the Lord Jesus is able to judge and because the Lord Jesus is man human he's able to judge the righteousness of God is astonishing when the Word of God describes something <clears throat> something something that is astonishing saying I'm telling you the truth the Lord himself the time is coming and is already here when they're dead the time is already here the dead are coming and they will hear the time is coming when the dead we hear the voice of, of the Son of Man and the one who has life and as God gave authority to the Son to judge because the Son of Man as the Son of Man he's gonna judge 
and the time will come when the voice of the Son of Man will be heard, and all the dead will be risen from the dead. The time will come with the second resurrection, and there will be risen the first to eternal life. So that <clears throat> the ones who did good deeds and the ones who did the did the uh, uh, deeds worthy of judgment will be judged, and those who did deeds worthy of good of internal life will enter internal life. And without me can do nothing, and I can do nothing without my Father. As I hear uh, the Almighty God, I judge with the judgment of God. And my judgment is just. Why is it just? And when it is just? And when is our judgment judged? Because, because I don't seek my will but the one of him who sent me. And this is a great secret. Your judgment. For any reason. Is just. Only. In your heart. And your spirit. There is the will. To do the will of God in no other way is your judgment just only when you are when you love the Lord Jesus Christ you keep his commandments and you love God the Father and you keep his word if you desire When the time comes, let me say this, very humanly speak, your husband, your wife, your children, your kinsmen, your f dad, your mom, the conditions, when you come to the position to judge, we have to we have to have wisdom of God and the will from your spirit to do the will of God but it's not only the ability to judge we also need to discern we need to have understanding mm. how do we judge when we desire to have in our lives we desire to do the will of God in our lives <clears throat> when we desire to do the will of God the Father in our lives it's very serious brethren to examine ourselves before we make a decision to judge or a discernment. And the word of God says, don't judge and you'll not be judged. Especially don't be don't condemn, so you're not going to be condemned. But there are necessary conditions that we need to decide what we need to do. To to you judge should I do this or should I do that this is not an easy decision if you want to do the word of God if you, if you want to do the word of God who sent us then your judgment will be just we need to examine what in every moment Lord Jesus what do you want me to do 
Not what he, I think I know what he wants from me. I uh, think I he wants this. Not what you think, but what does he want? First, according to the word of God. According to the ruling of the Holy Spirit. Unless the decision of our judgment agree with the Holy Spirit and we don't ask God to reveal His will to us, then our judgment will be wrong. Because my counsel is not your counsel. Because no one is able to <clears throat> loosen the seals of God. Fear not. Because the Messiah, the root of David, is able to open the book and to loosen the seals. This is that I saw then. And the midst of the throne of God and of uh, I saw the midst of the throne, not the line of the tribe of Judah. The time of judgment has not come yet. <clears throat> I saw We saw the characteristics of the Lord Jesus. He had seven horns, which means power, will, counsel, and seven eyes. He had seven eyes which are the seven spirits of God who are sent to the earth to search to find a person whose heart is perfect before God the Father and the glory of God the Father will be revealed and that man and the seven spirits found is the Lord Jesus Christ the man Christ Jesus who has seven horns who has authority The same spirits of God are sent to all the earth. Is there someone who is almighty and all wise? No one. There is creature to be almighty and all wise. No one. The mightiest creature was the anointing cherub till a man came, weak, with two characteristics. the gospel of father which is the power of god and the holy spirit without measure <clears throat> he's the only one who has power has authority has knowledge and wisdom he's the one who who brought the gospel through which is revealed all the the righteousness of God that every man is able if he is just to live by his faith and the only one who is just sinless is the man Christ Jesus 
who lived three and a half years from his faith on the words of his father. And the slaughtered lamb the uh, the slaughtered lamb who is the almighty judge this slaughtered lamb came and received the the right hand of God the Father the book and the ability to loosen the seals to open the book to read the book and not only to see it but also to rule all the wrath of God is going to be within him and he's going to be able to fulfill the word of God the Father when he received the book of God the Father, the four animals and 24 elders, this is the first fulfillment of the prophecy that all tongues will confess him, Lord, the first glorious moment. And behold, the four animals, 24 elders, they fell before the Lamb. The 24 elders have in their hands the prayers of all the saints of the New Testament. And even the animals that are in the heaven of God are prayers, brethren. And our prayers are kept in golden um, bowls, and may, our prayers are never lost. They're kept in bowls. Maybe you for, you forgot what you prayed for years ago, but God remembers all your prayers. This is very important because maybe maybe you've said. It didn't happen and God may do this in his own time little one when Isaac I probably have a, a nice example to give in my personal life. Uh, my son Dean had a great illness. He didn't, he couldn't have any children. But his daughter was praying, Anna. Since she remembers herself, I want a brother. After many years, she stopped praying. She believed that it couldn't happen. But her prayers were kept in a golden bowl and the fullness of time came and I became 20 years old he's gonna have his brother and let us pray to have good health any moment unbelievable remember when you're praying Pray that you and know this as long as you pray with faith, <clears throat> the righteousness of God with hope, with love in the Holy Spirit. This prayer enters a golden bowl, is transferred to the four living creatures. 
and to the 24 elders. Amen. Yes, brethren. Don't be disappointed when an answer is not come. Just say the answer has not come. The Lord has not answered my prayer. He's going to reply. Do I need even more for what you've asked and what you're able to do? And everybody, and all of them together, they're praying, and you will. You're worthy for animals. How many creatures? 24 the elders and everybody who took part in the rapture of the church. You're worthy to open its seals. Why? Why are you worthy to open up the seals and to receive them? Because you were slaughtered you were slain, you, you brought us to God by your blood, so that today, now the 24 elders, we are all on the throne of God, and with all the heavenly spirits, only you are worthy. And through, that's why you're worthy. That's why we praise you. <clears throat> through all the tribes of tongues, it is very important to know there is no Christian nation, a Christian nation, a non Christian nation whether you know the word of God or you don't and you and whenever you call the name of the Lord you're going to be saved or whether you don't know the word of God but according to the gospel of God the Lord died for the sins of of man when your conscience agrees with your reasoning you will take part at the assembly of the saints and not only that in the rapture they will come from all the nations so they will hear the word of God unless the gospel of God will be preached you cannot you can have the rapture when the rapture is going to come when the gospel of Christ is going to be preached to everyone from any nation and tribe from all people will take part in the rapture of the church and then will make it to the throne of God. And because you brought us to God <clears throat> and you made us to God kings and priests to our God we shall reign on the earth When does a person grab the authority to become a king? Says Apostle Peter. Describe the Church of Christ. Apostle Peter. You're first a chosen nation. And there are many chosen nation a holy kingdom you're a priest and kings your sacred kingdom holy nation and the people whom God purchased to proclaim the virtues 
of God, of him who bought him by the blood of his son. By the second in the second letter of Apostle Peter, he insists and says something even more detailed. You as living stones, you build a holy priesthood. Kings that are holy and also priests Uh, priest with uh, interceding authority when we go up there in order to offer sacrifice to God today if you are if you're called and you're chosen no matter what happens in your life everything happens under the word of God whoever for new God that will be from those whom God loves those he predestined to become like him those who are known he called them those who called he justified and in the end whoever justified and those he glorified. So the glorifying God, those 24 elders, on account of all the people who are raptured, I'm reading, because first you redeemed us to God by your blood, and you made us with a regeneration. To our God, kings and priests, and we are going to reign on the earth for a thousand years, and then kings, but not priests, kings alone to the ages of ages. Amen. Dear brethren, it is astonishing to know. You have sacred authority. What does it mean to have royal authority? Whatever happens, it happens. You don't do it. God does it. Whatever you ask, it will be answered. Whatever you seek, whatever you knock will be only the one. Today, We have authority that's royal to tread upon the serpents and scorpions and nothing will harm us and no one can harm us from the enemy because of the kings of God who reign for a thousand years and then to the ages of ages. But we have also, we have sacred authority. It's a shocking brother to know. Uh, you pray and he has an interceding authority and power there's not a little prayer as long as it happens I want to pray with my mind I want to pray with my spirit as long as it happens with faith and hope and by the Holy Spirit and with faith the word of God and to Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> if you live according to this way, then you have astonishing, terrifying power and in interceding authority even more. And this is the, the cause, the source, and everybody praises God the Father. The, the, the Lord Jesus the Nazarene the one who lifts up his sin he's given us sacred authority today by faith tomorrow by sight I repeat even though I may find myself to be 
uh, imposing we should not um, sidestep the issue the authority has given to us royal authority tremendous authority in the name of Jesus Christ and by the Holy Spirit according to the will of God the triune God I repeat a royal authority according to the will of God in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit otherwise you don't have any otherwise you have a little prayer to utter and forgive me God but I want to point out to you the difference of prayer with authority and the insignificant prayer if you seek and ask according to the word of God God hears you and will answer you according to the word of God we need to pray according to the written word of God that's righteous judgment second with endless hope the Lord Jesus will take my prayer and will take it to God the Father and with power the Holy Spirit is going to perform with the word of God so there will be a prayer according to the word of God help us God and I saw I saw and I came the voice of the angels and the number of those myriads of myriads saying with a great voice worthy is a lamb to receive power heavenly and upon the earth riches heavenly and upon the earth wisdom upon earth and upon heaven power that's personal from heaven and on the earth honor glory and blessing seven things that belong only to Christ as he's the one that unites the mothers in heaven and on the earth reconciles what is in heaven and on earth those things belong those seven characteristics of glory and praise of angels and people who are people who are risen and every time we confess him as the Lord confessing that to him belongs the power to him to him belongs to me who is given all glory in heaven and on earth now he describes what's all authority power riches glory and blessings and every tongue every creature there's in heaven and earth under the earth and those that are in the sea those who are in heaven and earth and the sea and all those things I heard them saying to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb belong blessing honor and authority to the Almighty God who says the Almighty 
the one who dwells in eternity. My name is holy, but also to the slain lamb. The same blessing, glory and honor to the ages of ages. To the almighty God, We have the seven horns. With something. Because to him was given wisdom and authority. The Holy Spirit was given without measure. And the blessing and honor and power and glory. From every tongue on heaven. On earth and under the under the earth with praise the one who sits the Almighty God to the slaughtered lamb belongs the blessing the honor the glory the strength the glory, blessing, wisdom, riches, and I encourage you. It's worth worth the effort to verse the different for God to explain to us what does it mean. One belongs to Christ. It belongs to Christ. Power, riches, wisdom, seven, honor, glory, and blessing, those seven traits in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Understand what those mean. And those who belong to the Almighty God and to the Lamb, but not to you and I. All in the Almighty God and to the Lamb, the blessing, glory, honor, and strength for God to explain to us, to explain to us those seven characteristics that belong to God the Father and the Lord Jesus. And those four animals and they're saying Amen. And 24 the elders, it didn't say amen. But they fell down and worshipped him who lives forever and ever. They worshipped. Shortly before they had taken the crowns and devoted them to God. After, after they heard all these things. That the glory and honor, strength and bliss and power, riches, wisdom. <clears throat> I'm repeating those four characteristics that I'm encouraging you and I'm asking you to encourage you to seek from God to explain to you the size of all those traits all the heavens they're saying amen because those traits are linked only to God the Father the man Christ Jesus the elders understood Nailed down and worshipped, and they gave glory to God. Now, from the sixth chapter, the Lord Jesus, the slaughtered lamb, to open one by one the seals. On the seventh seal, we're going to have the seven trumpets, one by one, seven trumpets on the seventh trumpet. One 
one by one the seven plagues is going to be expressed where finally in the end the final judgment will be committed to him and fulfilled and when the assembly of the saints will occur the marriage of the lamb will occur and the presence of the friends of the lamb that will take part with the first resurrection of the saints with the assembly of the saints and the Lord Jesus with all the saints who come down on earth will capture the Antichrist and false prophet and throw them living in hell the lake of burning fire the lake of burning sulfur and an angel would bind then the devil and the Lord Jesus would reign and this uh, with a seven year, a thousand year reign may the Lord have mercy on all of us to escape all those things that are about to happen and to escape all the sorrow, sorrow and sadness that not, has not occurred since the beginning of the world. Apostle Paul said, I keep my faith and keep my faith. So where the righteous judge would award me the crown of righteousness and not only to me but also the Paul said but all those who love the coming of the Lord Jesus we're saying make us worthy Lord. Amen and amen and amen.